Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Nearpod application from the App Center. So, whenever you log in and you are at home, you can actually click on the App Center and you may probably be aware that you can actually download applications that can work with each one of your classes. So, within these uh, applications, you have this particular Nearpod application which I've already connected to some of my classes. So I want to show you how this works because once you go to your classes, and in this particular case, I'm going to one of my classes here. Um, well, now I can actually uh, use the Nearpod uh, application. As you see, it appears right here to the left and it will appear there to your students as well. Uh, once you have it installed, uh, what you want to do is you want to actually click on this particular class. And once you click on the app, it actually opens up your Nearpod account. Now, if you haven't logged in, it will ask you to log in. I, I, mine, I've already logged in, so that's why you see the screen already there and all my um, lessons. But one of the things that's interesting about this is that once you, um, once you um, are here, uh, you can actually still navigate through Nearpod, and as you see, it is actually embedded within the Schoology site. Uh, this will assure that your students are not uh, going out of this site. So let me just actually make this a lot smaller here, and I will do this in order to um, demonstrate to you how this looks. Now this is teacher view, of course, and right here I actually have a student view, and in this student view, uh, actually, I will, um, let me make this smaller. This is a student view. Uh, this is one of my students, and I'm going to actually take a look at this course right here. And this is what the class looks like to my student. Of course, now I can actually click on the application. I've already, uh, over here, I'm actually um, setting up a lesson. And in this particular class, uh, well, here's the code. Now, once my students are here and I am, you know, in, in the midst of a class, I can actually have my students uh, have, I can have them log into the Nearpod account, which once again, the, the, the application will be there on their side. So this way they don't have to open up another tab, Google Nearpod or, you know, uh, go into the Nearpod website. And well, all they have to do is enter the code H F I P X. And it's that simple. As you can see, they are still within the site. And, well, it's that easy. Once all your students are in, you have control over what they're seeing. Now, um, what's interesting here is that um, you can actually, um, you can actually, um, you know, just control the site without having to open any other tabs. Uh, this is very pretty much it in terms of the application. You know, there's uh, nothing fancy about it it's except, of course, allowing you to pretty much easily access your Nearpod account through Schoology. Uh, you know, this is actually pretty neat. Uh, I can see how this can easily embed into some of the activities that you may be doing in class and how, you know, you're pretty much making it very accessible and easy for students to just, you know, go to the left, click on the Nearpod account, enter the code and boom you are in uh, that's pretty much that uh, that ends this session I hope you found this tutorial um, helpful and I certainly hope that um, you know this um, kind of gives you an idea of how to actually take the Nearpod uh, uh, you know how to actually embed the Nearpod uh, application into your practice